with the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are welcome to the New Heart Christian Ministries, a Bible-believing Christian family church, where we pray, sing, worship, express love, fellowship, discuss scripture and where we are constantly experiencing the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Uh, praise Jesus. Um, first and foremost, we sincerely apologize to everyone uh, that is joining us this evening uh, that we are running a bit late. Um, you're welcome to um, our Friday prayer meeting, um, which uh, we titled Prayers Change Things. Prayers Change Things. Praise God. Um, please allow me, allow me to say this. Um, Prayer is an ordinary process that brings changes to one's life or situation. It is a pronouncement of authority that can take you afar in life and to bring you accomplishment and can change your tomorrow. That is the power of prayer. Like one of our God's general, Apostle Joshua Selman, always says, that prayer goes ahead of you to the future and wait for you there. If there's anything or anyone or any forces that can sabotage your destiny, prayers and do that for you. You see, my fathers, my brothers, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, a place of prayer is always a battlefield because the enemies are always watching. If you can pray, you cannot be a prey for the attackers. Praise God. You can see the difference um, uh, prayers made in the life of Jabez. Uh, that's number one in the first Chronicles chapter 4, verses uh, 9 to 10. And uh, in the life of Abraham's servant, who was sent to go and look for a wife for Isaac in the land that he has never been before in the book of Genesis, chapter 24. And also how Daniel seeks the, the face of the Lord when Nebuchadnezzar asked all wise men and dream interpreters to be killed because they could not tell him the dream he had and the interpretation. And that was in the book of Daniel, chapter 2. Prayers change things. A prayerless Christian is like a walking dead. We thank God for another day that God has brought us together to have this prayer session. Amen. This evening we'll be praying. But before we do that, let us call our sister in the Lord to lead us in prayer and uh, praise and worship. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. We just want to give you all the honor. You are worthy. You are faithful. You are our intercessor. Our Comforter, we thank you so, so much for another night of miracles, night of wonders in the powerful name of Jesus, because you are going to move greatly, mightily in our midst like never before. Holy Spirit of the living God, we commit this service into your hand, the prayer meeting of tonight. We want you to have your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even as we pray unto you, as we pray for ourselves, we pray for our families, we pray for the nations. As Daniel prayed in the book of Daniel chapter 9, he prayed for the people, for his country, who have sinned against God. He did it for 21 days. God answered him from day one, but the prince of Persia blocked the blessings. So therefore, tonight we are going to pray as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus in spirit. Every prince of Persia assigned against our lives. They shall crumble by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit of the living God, come and have your way. Take all the glory and destroy any power that may want to stand against the prayer of tonight. Even Amen. in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God, for answering Thank prayers. You, Father, in you. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. As Amen. we begin to worship you in spirit with the fruit of our lips, Father, bring down your glory, O Lord. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your holy name. Amen. You are God, you know I'll be my new one. You are God, you know I'll be my new one. Jehovah Jireh, you are God, you are God, you are God. You know, be my new 
Dio, Majale, you are God, you are God, you are God. You are God in our lives. You are God in our home. You are God in our lives. We worship you, Lord. You are God. I say you are God. You are God. You are not a man. You are God. You are God. You are God. You are God. You may be man. You are God. You may be man. Jehovah Jireh, you are God, you are God, oh. you are God, you know the man who the open you see, you are God, you know the man who thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, you are not a man. You are God, you know, Emmanuel, Jehovah Jireh, you are God, you are God, you are God, you know, Emmanuel, you are the mighty man in battle. Hey, Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Nisi, you are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. You are, you are. You are the mighty man in battle. Hey, Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Nisi. You are the mighty man in battle. Hey, Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. You are the mighty man in battle. Eshadai, you are the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Nisi, you are the mighty man in battle. Eshadai, you are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Chineke Redeemer, 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 Redeemer. Chineke Redeemer, 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 Redeemer. Chineke Redeemer, Redeemer. Read in my head. 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 in my head. Read in my head. in my head. Read 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 in I know, yes, I know, hallelujah, I'm serving the God of miracles, I know, yes, I know, hey, we are serving the God of miracles, I know, yes, I know, Alpha, Omega, Alpha, Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Alpha, Omega, hey, Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. 
You are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. I stand before you, love, just as I am. Let your will be done. I stand, I stand, I stand before you, love, just as I am. Let your will be done. We stand, we stand, we stand before you alone, just as we are. Let your will be done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let your will be done tonight. We honor you. We worship your king of glory, rock of ages. Me, I am that I am, our Redeemer. We bless you, we adore you. Glory be to your holy name. Be thou glorified and magnified forever, even in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise Jesus. We thank our sister in the Lord uh, for that. A wonderful praise and worship. May the Lord continue to strengthen you, ma. May the Lord bless you Amen. and continue to guide and protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, your work in the house of God will not burn in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And at the end of the day, you will take your own glory. You take your own crown in heaven in the name of Jesus. Um, praise God, everyone. Those who are joining me this evening, uh, this is New Art Christian Ministries, and we welcome you to our midweek prayer meeting. Prayers change things. We are actually broadcasting live from Essex in the UK. Just in case you are worshipping with us for the first time, you are welcome. I will thank you also. Uh, you could have ignored us and uh, move on, but you stayed. There are so many programs going on this evening. Uh, we thank you so much. Okay. We also thank all our friends who have been supporting us in this ministry. Those who have been joining us and uh, helping us by sharing our videos. We thank you and pray that the made Lord reach out to you in all your ways in Jesus' name. Um, we, we come your way every Friday. Um, every Friday at 7 p.m. UK time online. We do that online. If you don't have technical problems, well, it happens. We are just preparing to start a program and something will just happen and then you go on hold. Uh, it could be power surge or the system just start playing up. Um, many times uh, a lot of live programs have been cancelled or started late because of technical issues. But if you don't have one here, our program starts at 7 p.m. prompt by the grace of the Almighty God. Please remember us in your prayer. Praise God. Um, so our prayer meetings every Friday at 7 p.m. Today, as I said earlier on, is a day of prayer. We are going to pray and uh, if you do not mind, we are praying for some specific people in the body of Christ. You may actually be one of them. And if you are not, you may be tomorrow. Who knows? It will not be a personal prayer or usual prayer for you as an individual. But I'm sure when you pray for others, the Lord will remember you as well. Praise God. We want to pray for those who are aspiring to uh, start a ministry but have been struggling or not sure if they are actually hearing from God or not sure if they should go ahead, or not even, uh, they are even scared to start. Some due to inferiority complex or things like that. But we pray for them that the Lord should direct their thoughts and footpath and show them clearly what He want them to do. It is important we get this right in ministry. Jesus specifically told Paul that He was sending him to the Gentiles. So if you look into the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 15, Acts 22, 21, the book of Romans chapter 11 verse 13, the book of Romans chapter 15 verses 14 to 33, you can read all these about Paul being sent to the Gentiles. Running a ministry is not a joking matter. That is why you can see or hear a lot of things happening to churches nowadays. But if you are called, if you are called upon your life, please go ahead. 
I just add this to say before we go to our prayer session this evening. A word for those who are inspired to start a ministry or those that the Lord have called to start one. Whichever category you fall into, please go ahead and do it. I can tell you that some people will ask you, uh, if you tell them that uh, you are starting a ministry, they will ask you that, are you called? If not people like that, some people who ask you questions like that want to undermine your spiritual strength. Just ignore them. You don't even need somebody's confirmation before you start a ministry. All of us that are saved have been called to ministry. All of us that are saved, we have been called to ministry. The problem is that some don't know. Some are scared and some are confused. Some are intimidated by the subject of, us, of, of other ministries. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 uh, verse 9, Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9 that, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, praise God, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus, before the world began. Praise God. Before you were born, like he said to Jeremiah, before you were born, God knew what you are going to do. So I don't know why many people, I, I know we are not the same thing. We are. We don't have the same ability or the same strength. Some people are scared. Some people are having issues of, uh, uh, they don't have the courage to start. Okay. But I'll tell you this evening, once you are ready for you, once you are ready to start, please uh, just go ahead. And when you're about to start, you will know. You will be, uh, there are some signs you'll be having in your life. You'll be having it bothering you. You'll be excited doing it. Your mind will be there always. You may or you may hear an audible voice, um, but you will know when it is time. God speaks with us differently. But you don't go about asking people around to confirm if you have to start or not. No, you don't need to do that. If God has laid it, laid it in your heart to start, just go ahead and start. The way God called people is quite different. Some people, they hear audible, audible voice. Some people, they could sit in their dreams. Some people, it's just an inspiration. Whichever one you, are, you, you fall into, please go ahead and start. May the Lord strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. So, if the Lord has laid it in your heart, or you just thought of it, and not that you want to do it as a rebellion or sort of competition, just go ahead. When I mention rebellion or competition is that, and some people, because you are disciplined in the church, and because of that, you want to go and start your ministry, or something happened in your church, and uh, you want to go and do that. I'm not talking about that, okay? As long as you don't, you don't do it carnally, as you don't um, do it based on issues in your church or things like that, please just go ahead. Praise God. Every believer has been sent to go and preach the good news to the people. Every believer has been sent out to go here and preach the gospel. Just go ahead and do it. If it fails, it fails. It's God's work. Start and hand it over to him, but don't let anyone talk you down or discourage you. God can use anyone. Look at Amos in the book of Amos, chapter 7, verse 14. They called him a prophet. He said he was not. Okay? We can read that one together. Also, in the book of um, uh, Amos, chapter, chapter 7, verse 14, if you, um, if you have your Bible, let us read it together. What happened is that Amos have been prophesying, and what has been prophesying, they don't like it, and they're asking him to, that you are a prophet, go to somewhere, go to uh, uh, another, another place to go and prophesy. So let us read from um, verse 14. Praise God. Also, Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go, flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then Amos now answered, he said, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. Look at me, I'm just a simple man. But I was an ex man, and they gathered of sycamore of fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Praise God. That is what happened. He said he was a headsman. He was just God looking after his flock then. God called him and sent him to, to go and uh, prophesy um, to the children of Israel. Praise God. Look at Samuel. 
No one told Anna she would be a prophet of God. God can tap into anyone and use him or her. Who are we to question anybody? If somebody comes to you and say, God, I, I'm, God has called me to start a ministry. Who are we to say, are you called? Praise God. So, um, but before you kick off, my brothers and sisters, uh, you need to get it clear why you are doing it, why you are starting a ministry. Know that um, I'm not saying starting a church. I said ministry because starting a ministry is not the same as starting a church. Starting a church is a different ball game and it's not the same as having a ministry. If you want to start a church, it is fine also, but be sure of which you want to go and uh, do and which one is your calling for under. Praise God. Um, not everyone is called to start a church. There are many Christian brothers and sisters who have no church or belong to any particular church and yet they run their own ministries. Praise God. Let, let me tell you this. These disciples, they saw one man casting out demons in the name of Jesus and they were baffled because this man wasn't part of them. Okay. So they went to him and told him to stop. So when they got back to Jesus, Jesus told them, when they told him that they should, that they should not do that, you don't need to belong to any church before you can start your own ministry. But get things right. If you are sent out by your church to start a church, that is a church. Your mother church that sent you out has to back you up. They have to set you up, which includes the finance part of it, at least for the first few months. Um, they will get you the media equipment you'll be using and ask some members to follow you there and help you out till you start getting your own members. But if you have been left to start your own church, the church you are, you are attending has no obligation to back you up. If they want to help, that is fine. They can. But that should be their own choice. That should be a choice. So you need to get things straight from the onset before you start your ministry. I've seen some people that closed down their church and the, uh, the answer they gave me when I asked what was the problem was uh, that their mother parish was not supporting them. Well, um, it, it is not by force. You don't have to accept it if you have been asked to go and establish a branch of your church somewhere and you are not led. You don't have to accept the offer. Many people have refused such direction, especially when they are not led. But if you are set and the church has helped you to a stage, you cannot go back and say they are not backing you up. As a child of God, you need to learn how to fight a spiritual battle. You need to know how to fight a spiritual battle. Ministry is difficult and at the same time simple. Depends on how you take it. It is not a child's play. Also, you need to know which area of ministry you want to go. There are numerous categories of ministry on the platter for you within the body of Christ, and you don't need to have um, you don't need to have or run a church to start a ministry. There are two different things, like I said earlier on. Having a church and having a ministry, they are not the same thing. Many people believe that the only way to start a ministry is by starting a church. Nah, 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 nah. There are many ways you can serve the Lord without getting yourself involved in running the church. Um, years ago, I want to share this with you. I was at work. Well, I was at work one day when I saw one Asian, uh, young-looking man and an elderly black woman pass through our place of work. The man was wearing a white long gown with a red girdle and uh, around his waist, and he, he put a jacket on. Okay, I was wondering who could this man be. I knew he was a Christian because he was actually wearing the cross. So I waited. Few minutes later, the man came back, and then I, I went to him. I started asking him questions, uh, "What do you do?" and so on. So, listen to what he told me. He said he was a medical doctor, and what he does was going from one place to the other, providing free medical treatment to people, especially Christians. Okay, those who are injured in conflict or persecution. I was touched. I was actually moved. So he get his finance from people. We are, that is where it makes a living. That is a ministry. Many people don't have a church. But Teresa did not have a church. That is a ministry. Some people are street, they are street evangelists. That is a ministry. We all know about Mary Slezo, who was a, a Scottish missionary 
who traveled to Nigeria and found where they were killing twins. She stopped that. That was a ministry because she set up. Um, um, she also set up a missionaries where uh, they were looking after abandoned twins. There are many schools established by nuns in Nigeria that was not even established by the church. That was a ministry. Remember the fivefold ministry in the church when our Lord Jesus Christ was ascended into heaven after his resurrection through the Holy Spirit. He assigned five particular ministry gifts to the body of believers for the purpose of running a viable church. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13 stated that and he gave some as apostles and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as pastors and teachers for the equipping of the same for the work of service, to the building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a mature man to the measure of the um, stature which belongs to the fullness of Christ. Any of this you can run as a ministry. Okay, so you need to be sure the area of your calling and then serve there and don't let anyone discourage you by asking you if you are called or not. People are expecting uh, calling to be like the way God asked Elijah to uh, go and anoint Elijah or how Paul was called. Calling, uh, callings differ. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 2 that in the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophet at many times and in various ways. But in the last days, he has spoken to us by son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. Today, uh, God speaks through his son and through the Holy Spirit. There are different ways God can call anyone, so don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Praise God. Once you start thinking about it, once it starts bothering you, once you start dreaming about it, that you want to do this thing, please I just go ahead and start. There's a prayer ministry, praying for people, standing in God for churches, ministries, like our sister prayed earlier on, um, praying for ministries, nations, communities, and so on. Helping people buy food stores for those in need. There is no end. A man advertised on his community Facebook page that he could help anyone, he doesn't mind helping anyone home bad to do shopping. That is a ministry. Running food bank for people is a ministry. Preaching on the street or distributing tracts is a ministry. Praise God. If you want to start a TV ministry, speak with them at the TV house. You want to be using them and uh, any TV house you want to use, have you work with them and they will help you out. Technology is much advanced now. You can make use of your mobile phones, record and upload and broadcast it to the world. But make sure that you are not carnal about it or not in a competition with anyone or you are uh, not doing it to spite anyone. You can even have a Facebook page. Simple. All you need is your mobile phone. At least you can afford that. You can also have a channel on YouTube. Easy. Same like Facebook. Look, God is looking for workers who can do the job. If you want to start, just go ahead. It's God's work. I can tell you that it's not your work. It's God's work. Years ago, when I was the head of the multimedia department of a church, and um, things became so difficult for me in coping with the stretch of the work in that church because of many activities going on. Um, that includes my own ambition in making sure that departments uh, reached to the standard I wanted since I was from a TV background and also coping with my daily job. So I was in this department with the help of one or two people. But the works became too much for me. Then I decided to step down as the head. I decided to step down. It was too much, to be honest with you, it was too much. Um, that night was one of our night vigils. I made up my mind that after the service, I uh, will meet our pastor and will ask to be let go. So as I entered the church um, auditorium, that decision was still in my mind. When a brother just appeared and blocked my path as I was going inside, as if he has been expecting me to arrive. And I asked what uh, was happening. He said it was, uh, he has come to ask me if there is a way you could help me. Anything I can give to him to do in the department. I couldn't believe it. It was as if God had my heart. I looked up and I asked God for forgiveness. Since that day, I believe the work is not mine. 
is God's work and it will always assist. God helped that department to the extent that we were stopped recruiting new members as we have become so large. Ministry is God's work. Church run is God's work. I was actually called from the pulpit by our pastor at that time that we should stop taking new members as we have nearly divided the church into two. Praise God. Let me also share this with you to encourage someone. I'm this particular message before we go to prayer, just to encourage someone. Maybe you have it in your mind to do uh, this uh, ministry. We are planning to hold a particular conference in our church, which was titled World Conference, I believe. As a video man, I, I plan to do a montage for the video CD that we'll be producing and be selling. Um, montage is uh, something you do uh, before um, uh, the uh, video starts. So when you want to play a video, you put that video at the front. So um, no one hacks me. That was just what I wanted to do to beautify my work. So I started planning and searching for the software I would need. Something sparkling, something to make it beautiful. This is God's work. I want to make it beautiful. So I went to everywhere on the internet. Nothing. All the videos and software I saw were not that useful. So one afternoon as I was going home from work, the spirit of the Lord directed me to a shop where they were selling magazines of all kinds. Okay, I looked at the video magazine there and found nothing. I've been to that shop before, but nothing was found there. So the spirit direct me, directed me there and I went. So what happens was that in those days, most of these magazines did sometimes have a free software attached to them. Some are trial version and some are full versions. So I entered the shop, looked again at the rocks and found nothing. Then the Spirit of the Lord asked me to move backward and looked under the shelf in front of me. I did that. Under that shelf was a magazine and attached to that magazine was a DVD. I picked it up and at last, that's what the sort of software I've been looking for. I looked up again and I said, Father, thank you. Thank you. People around me in that shop were looking at me as, uh, what's wrong with this one? I was so happy at the magazine, even though it cost me five pounds at four ninety nine In those days, I don't know how much they are selling such magazines now. Uh, the, the CD attached to it cost a lot of money, but it was free. Our Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 to 38, also in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 2, that he said to his disciples, the harvest, harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. You are one of his the laborers. Act now. Praise God. Act now. You have been called. You have been called to serve. So we are going to pray now. I believe you are born again because that is number one. Before I start to think about this, you must be born again. Okay? You must be born again. That is, that is a primary step you have to take. If you haven't done that, you have to give your life to Christ, okay, before you think of uh, going into ministry. Praise God. So if you are one of those that are afraid, scared, confused, not sure, or with low esteem, do we pray this prayer? Let me say this. Don't force the calling. I've heard this many times from people saying they are calling the special and different from those that hunger called. There was no one hunger called into ministry. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if people messed up in ministry, it is not that they are not called. They just simply messed up. Moses was called. He annoyed and disobeyed God. Saul was called and anointed as a king. He messed up. David was anointed as a king. He messed up. Judas, uh, Judas was a disciple. He messed up. People get intoxicated with power and money and they start to misbehave. There was a pastor that used to say, Who be God? Where in Nobu has me? We did not hear of them anymore. If people do something unexpected of them, that does not say they are not called. Praise God. Praise God. Holy Ghost. Yes. Do it again. Baba, do it. Again, 
To see Jesus, who is seated upon the throne. My brothers and sisters, let us thank God for, for another evening. Let us give Him all adoration. Let us thank Him for giving us the strength to see another day. He is the only one that can bring us together like this. Let us thank Him for the bread of life. Let us thank Him for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Let us thank Him for what He has done. Father Lord, we thank you. Jehovah God, we bless you, Lord. Ancient of days, I am here. We thank you. The omnipotent, the omnipresent God, the omniscient God, we thank you. For yesterday, we thank you. For today, we thank you. For tomorrow, we thank you. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you for this program. We thank you for everyone under my voice this morning. Father, we this is the Father, we thank you. Jehovah God will bless you. Almighty God will honor you. We give you adoration, Father, we give you the honor. We are God of heaven, Isaac, and Jacob. You are, are El Eloi Israel. We are the Almighty God. We are the King of Kings. We are the Lord of Lords. We are Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rohi. Almighty God will bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Jehovah God will bless you. Thank you for another day, Father, we bless you. Now, you are going to say, my brothers and sisters, you are going to say, Father, give me your spirit and encourage me. Father, give me your spirit and encourage me. Empower me, motivate me. Give me the boldness and strength. Uplift me and show me the way to follow. Open my spiritual eyes and ears. Direct my feet to where you need me in Jesus. To pray, my brothers and sisters. Pray. Ask God to give you all of these things. They're going to say, Father, empower me, encourage me. Give me your spirit. Give me the boldness and strength. You that you are actually scared to start a ministry. You that you are, you are, you are, you are feeling bad that you don't know how to start. Ask God to give you the courage. Ask God to give you the boldness to start. Ask God to give you his spirit. We are going to say, Father, give me the boldness and spirit. Uplift me in the name of Jesus Christ. Show me the way to follow. Open my spiritual eyes and ears. Direct my feet to where you need me in Jesus' name. Oh, Maria, Yaya, Katsahia, Pasika, Kayama. Remember the Holy Spirit, the angel told Philip. He said, go to the desert. And Philip listened to that angel and went to the desert. We are going to say, Father, direct my feet. Direct my foot path tomorrow to where you need me in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the boldness. Give me the courage and, and, and motivate me. Encourage me in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother and sister, pray. My brother and sister, pray. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, Jehovah, Marie, Basike, Kaye, Marua, Basike, Kayambara. Ba, Marua, Basike, Kaye, Bari, Basike, Re, Boshia, Karim, Baska. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. You pray and say, Father, fill me with your anointing. Anointing to bind and lose. This journey, go ahead of me and surround me with everything that we need to all this successfully. Let us pray. Marua, Basike, Re, Basike, Re, Mochika. This journey, Pray and say, Father, lead me on in the name of Jesus. Go ahead of me in the name of Jesus. Come upon me in the name of Jesus. Forgive me everything that I will need to run this ministry successfully. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fill me, feed me with your power. Feed me with your strength. Feed me with your courage in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the power to bind and lose in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Jehovah God Almighty. Father, give me your strength. Give me your strength. Motivate me. They are going to see my brothers and sisters. This journey, go ahead of me. I surround me with everything that I will run this successfully. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are, we, are, we are going to say this is the last one now. You say, Father, Father, let your will be done in my life. Let me finish well. Let there be a release of your power and grace upon me. Touch me. Touch me with your power. In the name of Jesus Christ. My brother and sister, now pray. We are going to say, let your will be done in my life. Let me finish well. Let there be a release of your power and grace upon me. Touch me with your power. In the name of Jesus. Do this for me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let me serve you well. Let me serve you well. Let me finish well. In the name of Jesus. Give me your strength. Give me your power. Give me your strength. Give me your power. Touch me. Touch me with your power. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God Almighty. Do this for me, Almighty God Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. What you did on the day of Pentecost, do it for me now. In the name of Jesus, O Jehovah God Almighty. Let your Holy Spirit descend upon me. In the name of Jesus. Let your power descend upon me. In the name of Jesus. Let your Spirit descend upon me. In the name of Jesus. When the anointed David, the Bible says that as soon as the anointed David, the Spirit of God started working in his life. You are going to say, Father, anoint me for your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Anoint me for your ministry. Call me and let me serve you well. Let me serve you well, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. 
Eternal work of ages, the only one of Israel. El Elo Israel. King of the universe, the one that says the word and has come to pass once again. We have come to thank you. Ancient of this, we have come to thank you. I am there, we have come to thank you once again. We have come to thank you. We have come to show our appreciation over to this program and over the life of those who have joined us on this program. Almighty God, Father, you are set up a thousand in the name of Jesus. And for everyone that you have anointed for your ministry, Jehovah God, reveal yourself to them and speak to them in the language they can actually understand. Let the Holy Spirit that worked on the year of Pentecost anoint and start to work in them in the name of Jesus. At the end of the day, let all glory go to you and let your blessings come down on us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God, my brothers and sisters. It doesn't it does it doesn't have to be a marathon one. Shukila Lord Bilge. The Almighty God said his prayers, prayers are not answered by many words. Okay. But before go, let me add this to uh, what I've said earlier on. Don't let anyone's ministry intimidate you. Okay? Don't let because a particular church is big and then it, it, it starts to intimidate you and then you're beginning to be scared. Ah, is my church is good or my ministry is good to be like this? No. Okay? You have to start gradually. Praise God. You have to start gradually. Paul, it takes so long. I think it's about uh, maybe about 14 years or so before his, his ministry started to become big. The heaven, is, the heaven sky is big enough for bears to fly freely without touching one another. If you are going ahead, I pray for you. May your way be prospered in the name of Jesus Christ. May you not fail in the name of Jesus. God is looking for fighters. God is looking for warriors. God is looking for people who are going to do the job. Like I said earlier on, the earth base is plentiful. But where are the laborers? Okay, um, I, I had uh, uh, one of our brothers, our pastors, he's saying that um, uh, there is no more fishes in the ocean. That's what he said. He said there is no more fishes in the ocean. That means that there is nobody else uh, to um, to invite to the body of Christ. And about a few days ago, they were doing a celebration in Nigeria where they are worshipping idols. And you can see people came from the, all over the world to come and worship idols. <laughs> Okay, goddess, river goddess. And this pastor is saying that there is no more fishes in the ocean. Okay, we have not started yet. God is looking for warriors. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Don't let anybody discourage you. It's you and your salvation. Okay, if God, if you believe you have to start a ministry, like I said earlier on, starting a church is not starting a ministry. There are two different things. We thank everyone that joined us today. If by adventure you have any question in respect of what um, I mentioned today, or you disagree with something I've just said, please let us know. We are back on Sunday at 10 a.m. UK time for our Sunday service. Um, if you are free to join us, please join us. May the Lord bless you. I commit this weekend, um, your weekend to the hands of God. May the Lord prosper you and be with your family in the name of Jesus. May it, may, may it be may it be a very happy weekend for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help us share this video and uh, visit our page on the YouTube channel, search for New Heart Christian Ministries and subscribe to our channel please so that you can know when we produce uh, another video. Till last Sunday, when we come your way again, stay blessed. With the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are welcome to the New Heart Christian Ministries, a Bible-believing Christian family church, where we pray, sing, worship, express love, fellowship, discuss scripture and where we are constantly experiencing the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit.